All right, so this look is actually gonna be pretty easy and simple, quick and fast. So I'm gonna be taking the Pure Cosmetics Bronze in Brighton palette. It looks like this. You open up, it's a little trio, and it has these beautiful colors in it. So I'm actually gonna be using every single one of these colors. So the first one I'm gonna go into, I'm gonna take this Morphe R2 brush and I'm gonna be going into that bronzer color. And hopefully I didn't pick up too much. And I'm just going to start bronzing up my face with this. You, dripping light, paint the skies, only you. And it's obviously super pigmented, but it actually looks really beautiful. I think I'm just not using the correct brush. So I'm going to be laying this just very lightly on my forehead, not too much. And now I'm going to be taking the brush I always use, which is the Lexi 2 or 514 brush. And I'm going to be dipping into the blush in the palette and putting this on the apples on my cheeks. I love this blush color. It's like the perfect pink on your face without being too pink. And it has a nice shimmer to it as well, so it doesn't make you look like you have chunks of glitter on your face, but it does make you look less dead. And then I always, after doing my blush, I always like to take a sponge and just kind of go right here and dilute it, blend it together into the skin. I'm going to be taking this NYX Matte Finishing Setting Spray. And of course, spraying my entire face with this. And now I'm just letting that semi-dry. And guys, this is my third video I'm filming today. I'm on a roll. I filmed two videos. Uh, yesterday I filmed one and Friday I filmed another one and they all came out blurry. Yay my luck. So the first video I filmed today actually did not come out blurry so that will be posted soon. The next video I have not looked at and then hopefully I pray to God this one comes out clear because I'm so sick and tired of wasting my time filming videos for you guys and they coming out blurry. It happens to me all the time but yeah. So you guys know I like to set my face before doing my highlighter and I like to leave it a little bit tacky so it's more pigmented. So of course I'm going to be going into the middle shade right here, the highlight, and this highlight is like my new favorite. I have a lot of favorite highlighters so I'm not going to say it's my number one but it's definitely a new favorite. It matches my skin tone perfectly. It gives you a nice gold champagne look without it being like a streak on your face which happens a lot for lighter skin people or maybe even darker skin I really don't know but it just I'm always like struggling finding a highlighter that doesn't look like a streak on my face so I always have to use lighter colors but I want to use gold too you know but yeah I'm just putting this on my face these all the colors in these are so creamy buttery and beautiful that sounded like food creamy buttery and then I'm just gonna go in with this small little luxy brush and dip into it again and take it down the bridge of my nose and of course on like the little tip of the nose as well all right so this look is actually gonna be pretty easy quick and fast so I'm gonna be taking the Huda Beauty rose gold palette and I'm gonna be dipping into the pink color which is the color flamingo right here and I'm gonna be using this as my transition color I'm using this dirty Morphe R37 brush but I didn't have time to clean my brushes so I'm just blending this into my crease to give that transition color. And it does not have to be super pigmented or anything. I just always feel like I have to go in with a transition color. Paint the skies, only you. Can you know what I just realized? I filmed, this is my third video that I filmed and it's literally only 11.22 a.m. in the morning right now. I've just been on a roll. Like I get up really early naturally so it's not a problem but yeah I'm almost done for the day so the next color I'm gonna be going in I'm gonna go with the same brush but I'm gonna be going into the color man eater it's that red color and it's my number one favorite color like in the world I love this red color so much but I'm gonna be slowly building this color up and I'm gonna be placing this all in the crease and outer part of my eye so alive. Make it last forever Stop in time Yeah, I'm surrendering Hold time The 
key to having good eyeshadow is blending. If, I'm sure you guys already know that, but if you are someone who struggles getting your eyeshadow to look good, just sit there and blend like crazy until your hand starts hurting. And I promise you guys, you will notice a big difference in your makeup. I used to not be the craziest blender as well growing up. Um, when I first started doing my makeup like two years ago, like started doing good makeup, I look back and I'm like, that wasn't even, what, what is that blend? And I actually didn't put much on my eyes, but if you are someone who struggles with that, then just blend like crazy and then you'll be good to go. And now I'm just wiping off this brush and I'm going to go a little bit into that pink color and just kind of blend out this outer part right here because it is looking a little harsh and we're not going to be putting eyeliner there so you do want that to be very blended out. Alright, so now I'm just going to be taking this little bullet blending brush. This is the Morphe M5. 06 brush and I'm going to be dipping in to that red color again and just blending this under my lower lash line area. And then I'm just wiping off that brush and dipping into the pink color and just using it to further blend it together. Alright, and so you guys already know I'm going to be taking my IT Cosmetics No Tug Liner, but I still tug anyways, and just putting this in my waterline. Alright, so I don't know how this is actually going to work out, but I found this the other day at my Marshalls. Everyone's been finding all these crazy makeup items, and I actually did find some good ones, but they were all broken because people don't know how to take care of makeup. Um, but I'm going to be taking this... Chirimoya, Chirimoya, little pomade thing. It came with a lipstick, this, which is glitter, and then a brush. And I've actually already dipped into it and like swatched on my hand, but I haven't used it fully yet. But when you open it up, it's actually like a liquid, if you guys can see that, it's like a liquid gel glitter thing. So I'm gonna be dipping into this, and it's gonna give you like a very glossy eyelid. I don't mind a glossy eyelid, but we're going to try it today. So I'm taking the brush it came with, and I'm going to get a little bit closer to my mirror and place this all over my lid. Oh, wow, that is like super pigmented, way more pigmented than I thought. Ooh, cheat, cheat, cheat. And of course, you can just use like red glitter and it will look the same. I just wanted to use this. It looked cool. And all three of these items, I'm no joke. I'm pretty sure I paid like two or three dollars for it. So I recommend going to your Marshalls or your TJ Maxx or Ross because I went to all of those this weekend and found a bunch of makeup. And a lot of those makeup items are going to be in my future giveaway coming up. And if you don't know already, I actually have one running right now. I don't know if it'll be over by the time this video is up or not, but just know I'm going to be making a new one soon. first brush and dip into a brown color in the palette which is the color cocoa right there and just kind of use it just to a little bit blend those colors together I'm not gonna go too crazy into it because it is a sticky you know product but I am dipping into it a little bit and blending them out and now I'm just gonna be taking my Urban Decay Perversion Mascara and just putting this all over my top and bottom lashes <laughs> So now I'm just taking a pencil brush and dipping back into that highlighter color and I'm going to be putting that on the inner corner and the brow bone area. You guys already know I have to do this. I feel like it makes such a difference to your makeup look, especially that inner corner area. So for the last step, I'm going to be taking this little lip product from the same brand that we use the eyes with. And they said on the box that it came with, it says line your lips and then fill it in with this. 
And guys, there is like, there's some product on the lid, but there, I don't know if you can see that. It's actually like really empty in there. I mean, I'm not going to use this a lot, but, and it was only like two or three dollars, but it didn't really come with a lot of product. So I'm going to put this on the outer part of my lips. Okay, so this lip liner product is actually way more pink than the actual glitter, but it did went on really nicely, so I feel like I would love to use it again by itself. But yeah, so I'm going to be wiping off this because I just used it on my eyes and, you know, I don't know, different areas. So I'm going to be wiping that off and I'm going to be dipping back into that and putting it all over my lips. That is so pretty. I mean, you, of course, could just use red glitter on top of a lipstick, but this looks so beautiful. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, guys. This does look really nice on the lips. It's really pretty. It just feels like a regular lip gloss. It doesn't feel, like, too sticky, and it doesn't feel, like, too glittery either. I mean, you could feel like a little bit of the glitter, but it doesn't feel like chunky at all. But yeah, that is the completed look. This was so easy to create. I'm pretty sure I've been filming for like, <laughs> well, last time I said it was 11.22. It's actually 11.34 now, so I feel like I've been filming for way less than 30 minutes. Um, yeah, this was the completed look. really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I actually loved creating this. It looks really pretty. I do have like the gloss on the eyes which makes it look glossy and it doesn't feel bad either. Like at first it did feel sticky, but now it's all like I'm used to it on my eyes now. I'm really loving this lip color. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give my video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in my next video.